All right, this is lesson two. Um, we're gonna call we're calling this series "Guitar Superstar," even though it's really beginner guitar lessons. Uh, yesterday was the first one, and yesterday we did two chords, uh, actually four chords. We did E major, E minor. We did A major and A minor. So just to review, we have we have E minor, and then you just add this finger to the first fret for, to make it E major. And then we have, and we just move that E major down one string, you get A minor, and then A major, A minor, A major, E minor, E major. Now, one thing I did not show yesterday, which is, which is important, not important, too important just yet, but you have the right hand and you have the left hand, right? The left hand is generally what we focus on at first more so that we can actually play something, right? And, and generally you just strum, and this is you know, simple strumming with your thumb, you can call it thumb strum, right? Um, or you could do, use your fingers like this, but the thumb works, right? So today what we're going to do is we're going to learn um, one more chord. We're going to learn maybe two chords. We're going to learn D, D major, so that we can play a song. Because all you need is those three chords. You have uh, E, A, and D. We already learned E and A. Now we're going to learn D. So, uh, and each day we're going to try to talk a little bit more about other aspects other than just the chords. But remember yesterday we had E, A, D, G, B, E as the, our strings, right? E, A, D, G, B, E. Um, remember, not everyone even knows basic theory, you know, mu music theory. So let's just say that, um, you know, the scale has uh, eight notes and it, it really seven, and then the eighth, which which is where we get the word octave. Uh, so let's say that we, uh, today we're gonna start a song, we're gonna learn a song in A. So the scale would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, back to A. So it starts on A, it ends on A. And that would be an octave. Talk more about that. Um, so A is the, is the is the the root note right and then uh, the fourth and the fifth would be the D and the E so if you look at a look at my fingers B C D D is the fourth right E is the fifth so you have a D E and that's all we need to play. Um, a lot of songs actually three chords in the truth as they say so today we're gonna learn D D is this configuration it's the it's it's the these three note three strings these three strings and then you're gonna play the this is the D open D you're gonna play that as well um, moment yeah the a is as well but not the e not this string but the other strings right for the d okay so you know this this chord this is used you know so much okay so so the way the way to play it is you're gonna have your forefinger pointer finger on the second fret, the third string from the bottom, which is the the G string, right? Then you're gonna have your middle finger on the second fret, the first string. And you're gonna have your ring finger on the third fret, the second string. And it's a little bit, a little bit challenging. The other thing to keep in mind, very important, is to have your fingers close to 
this piece right here. And the reason for that is because if you're further away from that piece, it, it, it tends to not um, sound as good. And, and sometimes the, um, the strings get damp, what's called dampened, uh, meaning it, they sound like this, right? So if you hear that sound, you know you're not pressing hard enough and you might not be close to that, okay? So there we go, that's the D chord, right? And so you remember, we, we wanna pr practice these chords so that we can move from chord to chord fairly fluently. So here's the E, E major, A major, D major, back to A major, E major. So we can move, you know, quickly. So, so you know, so eventually you'll be like... So you can go, you know, all right, and you can mix it up. And that's where the practice comes in and the practicing so that, you know, and you could even do it while you're watching TV or the, or, you know, uh, a movie on your computer or whatever it is. Uh, just, you don't even have to play. You can just be doing this with your fingers, right? To, to remember the, the different configurations, right? All right. So we got that. So we have those three chords, right? One of my favorite songs um, from back in the day, it's still a great song, when Jimi Hendrix um, first got to the, back to the US after being in, in, uh, in England, where he, he really got his big break. And he played with some of the great guitarists over there, you know, Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the Beatles. Um, so he he went back to the States and he played at the Monterey Pop Festival. I believe that was 1967. And he played Wild Thing. And he, um, I think during Wild Thing is where he lit his guitar on fire. Yeah, yeah. He lit his guitar on fire. So um, Wild Thing is, is a song um, by a British group called the Trogs. And, and Jimi Hendrix, uh, you know, did a, a beautiful version, incredible version. So it's basically A, D, wild thing. That's the E, right? So it starts on the A, goes to the D, goes back to the uh, wild thing. Then it goes to the E, back to the D, and back to the A. So A, D, E, D, and then repeats again. So, wild thing. Actually, I'm going to do the chords. I'm going to, I'm going to say the chords instead of singing the words. A major, D major. Just the beginning, uh, you know, very simple song. Um, that's what makes it so good, I think, is that it's very, 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 very basic in your face. It's what makes rock and roll rock and roll. Um, and uh, it's kind of funny that that, that Jimmy Hendrix played that song in a way. Um, but he probably, you know, one of the reasons why he did it was because it was so easy and he could do a lot of other stuff, his, um, his stage annex playing that song. Um, plus he was a wild and crazy guy. So, <laughs> wild thing. Forget 
I forgot that next part. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to do that uh, tomorrow. But uh, for today, I think it's enough just to work on these three chords: the E, the A, and the D. So many so many songs use those just those three chords. Some songs even use less than that. You know, just the E and the A, or the A and the D. Um, learn those three chords, you're well on your way. And then remember the right hand. I mean, if you're right-handed, you're using your right hand. Right hand can be very simple. Just the thumb, or you can use your, I, I, I kind of use this finger. And today I'm playing this, um, this is actually a classical guitar. It's a nylon string. Nylon string guitars are easier on your fingers. A lot of people, when they start playing guitar, they start to, to develop this, this thing here and uh, some rough skin. And a lot of people who are not used to the guitar, they find it very challenging. And it's one of the things that stops a lot of people from playing guitar is, is the, it, it hurts. Um, especially if you're playing a steel string versus a nylon string. Nylon strings are a lot easier to learn on. So I would recommend doing that if, if you can get your hands on a nylon string. Um, and the, it's a, one reason why a lot of people even start on the, the ukulele, um, because let's see if we have one here. Yeah, we have one. The ukulele is um, even easier to play. It's probably the easiest string instrument play see if we can nah I don't know if I can do I'll do it I'll do a wild thing in a different way on this let's see uh, I forget how to do A let me see okay Just to show that the, the ukulele is another way that you could start to um, get, you know, get your your fingers going on on the strings and the fretboard, uh, and then and then maybe graduate onto the the um, you know the steel string is um, definitely more challenging on the fingers. So um, I hope this lesson was helpful for, for you today. I would love your comments. Uh, did, and, and please like it if you liked it. And subscribe if you want, if you want to see more. And uh, let me know what you'd like to learn. And I'm going to keep this channel going for a while and keep adding to these. Um, you know, each lesson will build upon the next and the next and the next and the next. And I'm going to be learning as well while we go along here. So thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.